Today we have a rather easy project. We're going to change the oil in this 2015 Lexus GX460 and these are all the supplies we'll need. An oil pan, paper towels, funnel, wheel chocks, oil, 0W20 fully synthetic. You can get this on Amazon. Delivered to your house cheaper than you can from AutoZone. Socket set, breaker bar just in case anything is tight. This is a special tool for Lexus vehicles to pull off the original oil filter. A clean cup, we're gonna collect a sample of oil to send it in for lab analysis. You can take a look at the health of your engine oil and if you can run longer next time between oil changes. For extra safety, we have some jack stands and some vehicle ramps. Finally, a creeper is optional. So let's get this vehicle on the ramps. With the vehicle up on the ramps, jack stands in place for extra safety and wheel chocks behind the rear wheels. We're ready to begin. This skid plate, it's heavy duty steel, must be dropped down or completely removed to gain access to the oil filter area. So that requires removal of some bolts. One here, and there's another one here. I think typically mine are gone at the moment and I actually have just this bolt remaining. So I'll use a 12 millimeter socket and pull out that bolt. Skid plate's a little loose now, but we have some more bolts to remove. One here and one over here. With the bolts removed, the skid plate now comes down. Your skid plate might have a few more bolts. Some of mine are broke. This might be a clip or a bolt. If you want to remove the skid plate entirely, that can be done. You have to remove this clip though. Just pop that out. And then there's little hooks up in this area that you can maneuver around and release entirely the skid plate. A little further back on the vehicle, you'll find this cover that needs to be removed to drain the oil. I'll use a larger 13 millimeter socket to pull off these two bolts. And our cover is removed. The bolt for the oil drain is revealed. With our drain pan in place, a towel underneath to catch any drip, we can now remove our drain plug. Also at this point, you can catch some oil in your container for sending off to later lab analysis. I don't do this very often, once every few years, just to check out the health of the engine. The oil is now drained and I'll use a bit of cat litter. The cat litter is gonna absorb the spilt oil so that we don't have stains on our driveway. Let's now reinstall our original drain bolt. I'm gonna reuse the original crush washer. You can replace that if you'd like, but I've not had any problems with leaking, just reusing the original. Don't crank down too tightly on that drain pan bolt. That's gonna give you a hard time next time pulling it off. Let's now remove the oil filters. So we have our oil filter adapter link below for this attached to our socket wrench. And we're going to attach that now to the oil filter. It's attached and now we can rotate counterclockwise to remove. Have your oil pan ready to catch the dripping oil. And there's our oil filter and housing. And let's get rid of this old filter, so pull it out of the housing. We'll replace everything with our new filter kit. This was purchased from Amazon, delivered right to my house for, again, even cheaper than AutoZone can do. Here's our new filter. And we have two O-rings. We might need to use only one in this case for this particular vehicle. Pop in the new oil filter. And use a screwdriver or a pick to remove the old O-ring. And apply the new o-ring back under the vehicle let's now install our new filter first just hand tighten and later we'll use a tool also with this filter don't tighten too tightly you're just gonna make it difficult for yourself later on the next oil change you'll feel when everything is seated and don't crank too hard at the top of your engine locate your engine fill and pour in your new oil Capacity on this vehicle is 8.2 quarts. So we're gonna empty this entire container and a portion of another container. The engine's running, I don't see any oil leaks, so we can reattach our skid plates and let's check our engine oil level to make sure we don't need to add any additional oil. Near the windshield, grab your dipstick. The engine oil level should be between these two holes. It's not, so we need to add at least a quart. Adding some oil and rechecking the level. 
the new levels between the two holes on the dipstick so we are good to go and this job is complete we were able to change the oil a little bit cheaper than any quick service lube would do also we got to learn about our own vehicle take a look at it ourselves make sure nothing is out of place and we are certain the oil change was done correctly not with cheap oil also this DIY oil change was completed in a similar amount of time it would take to drive to a quick service lube place get your vehicle oil engine changed and then come back home so we're saving some time potentially as well I received back from Black Soul Laboratories the report of the oil that I sent to them I highlighted a few interesting pieces of information they mentioned in this paragraph here that metals are a little high for just 3,000 miles, but nothing is out of line enough to be a problem. They also mentioned there weren't any contaminants to worry about, like fuel, coolant, and moisture. Air and oil filters are working well. They also mentioned, I can try to change the oil at 5,000 miles next time. That's good to know. Also is a report on all the elements they found within the oil and what's expected, at least as far as universal averages and they also measure some of the other properties of the oil and compare it to what the value should be. So Blackstone Laboratories was pretty cheap and it's a good way to get a health check on your engine and learn if you can change the oil at higher mileage. I might try 5,000 next time and then maybe I'll test again. Perhaps they'll tell me eh, 8,000, 10,000 is even acceptable. They also sent to me a new container to use for my next collection of oil. I hope this helps you with your project.